path in real estate started as a sales agent um, in the eastern suburbs. So I worked for a number of years as a, as a selling agent um, and, and didn't quite enjoy the sales process side of things. So an opportunity came up to, to transition over to the buying stuff side. And, uh, and I took that on as a property coach with a national investment firm. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that was a very much a transactional based type job. And again, didn't fit with me. So I transitioned into my own employment um, and worked there for a number of years before the opportunity came up to work with Miriam under as a franchisee under Property Mavens. So very familiar. That's uh, so I am based in eastern suburbs. So I'm familiar with the eastern suburbs, and and that's where I operated as a sales agent. So I, I really enjoy the property side of things. I mean, dealing with property and and dealing with with clients. Unfortunately, I didn't like the sales process. It didn't fit very well with me. After a number of years, I I, I didn't feel comfortable with with what I was doing. Um, so I, I certainly looked for a change, but wanted to maintain property. So I, I thoroughly enjoy property. Yes, uh, three months now already with a friend as a franchisee of property movers, and it's gone by really quickly. Um, like any new system, like any new job, I guess there's new systems and new uh, new ways of, of learning how to to do things. Um, but that's all part of the challenge and it's been very rewarding. The, the support that I've had from Miriam has been fantastic uh, and the, I guess the already achieving goals that have been um, wonderful. I guess as a sales agent, you're very much just focused on the transaction of getting the, getting the property listed and getting the property sold regardless of the outcome as such, whereas the buyer's agent is, is more... There's a lot more meaning to it. There's a lot more, uh, if you like, feeling to it. So it's building those relationships with the clients and assisting them along their way to, to buy uh, a suitable property. Yeah, so that is probably one of the things that sort of has surprised me a little bit. The amount of analysis that you do as a buyer's agent on property is, is amazing. So there's a lot more detail in sourcing the property and understanding the, the specifics of the property to provide that information onto the client. I think as a sales agent, it certainly provided a good background to, to assist in the vendor advocacy roles. Um, so I, I've found that to be a, a great bonus. Uh, so um, yes, I think the, the, the sales experience has done well in providing a vendor advocacy uh, role. And, uh, and helping my clients understand the sales process a lot better. Uh, certainly one of the questions I asked myself uh, before joining Property Mavens as a, as a franchisee was how many, how many leads, what, what kind of lead is gonna be provided to me? Um, I can say within three months of, of joining, the leads have been fantastic. They have been nonstop. Uh, and it's actually blown me away with a number of leads that's that's passed on to to the point of being actually too busy. Definitely, as a, as I was investigating the, the franchise options through Property Mavens, there were a number of questions that were going through my head. And uh, if I could go back in time now and and talk to myself prior to, to adjoining property mavens, all I can say would be go for it. Um, my questions uh, or the issues that I thought of have all been uh, cleared. There's absolutely no issues that I have. What I thought might have been an issue is not an issue. Uh, the business is certainly uh, there and, it, and it's been great. Definitely found, found that to be the case. Um, in speaking with clients, they already understand who Property Mavens is. So just as I say, with my initial conversations with clients, it's been so easy because they already know uh, there's a background to Property Mavens. So I'm not selling something new. They already know effectively who we are. And that's been a massive bonus uh, from, from every time I speak with someone. They've Googled us, they've looked at our reviews, they already know who Property Mavens is.
So some of them would have seen Miriam uh, in the media, but definitely things like Google reviews, uh, even the website itself with the reviews that are available through the Property Maven's website, people investigate that and, and they've looked at that and they and they would certainly say in that my initial contact with, with clients is that we've seen your Google reviews, you've got good reviews, um, you know, we'd be happy to deal with you. Work-life balance, I guess, as a buyer's agent, it, it's pretty similar to, to real estate, if you like. It is six days a week, so there is a commitment there to, to put in the time. Um, however, in doing that, obviously, you do get the ability to structure. You're not, you don't have to turn up at an office. You don't have to sit at a desk at a particular time. You do have the freedom to structure that, but you do need to put the time aside. You do need to put the time in. Um, and, and certainly if, I, if anyone thinks that they can come in and sit down and, and put their feet up and have an easy time, what I'd suggest is think again, there is work required, but you can structure it around your own lifestyle. I wouldn't hesitate for anybody to think about switching, if you like, from the sales point of view in that it's, not a, it's no longer a dog eat dog type world in the buyer advocacy world with, with property mavens. Um, the support is fantastic. It's ongoing. Leads are generated. You've got business from day one, basically. Um, and, and you can build your own business. So um, you know, that's what I'm doing. And, and it's, as I said, if I could go back and tell myself, don't hesitate, it'd just be go for it.